Hi guys, my name is Rachel and welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is an update on my workshop on Monday, a marketing workshop I did. So I'm just going to go through the points and just give you a general idea of what kind of happened. Basically, we just talk about gaining ideas from anything really. I mean, for example, I could take this glass and talk about its shape, its size, its colour. My tablet is going, it's losing its battery. <laughs> and I still got things, I got my notes on here. So it's like, take a look at this this cup. And there's, just figure out what else is it a cylinder shape? What else is clear shaped? What, what, what else? What's its colour? What else is clear? What else is, where, where is it? What, what, why is it here? Why is it? What else could be located in a bedroom, for example? So that's what we did, that's what we did here. Um, place, place. So what other things can you find in an object's usual environment? Consider the context and history of the object and place. So, what else could you find in this environment? Well, this. <laughs> But it's not in relation to this. So we have to think what else could be some form of cutlery within a bedroom. We could have plates. Sometimes people have plates in, but it's a bit random. It's totally random. So it's just a little random idea that I'm just bringing up here just to express what we were looking at. Uh, places can help you with taglines and, and other things. So. Depending on where you are, you could just think of something and then think of something else and then develop on that and continue after that and that and that and it may develop into a tagline that, that you may think, hmm, I could use that, it might work. Uh, words can lead on to other words, for example, just like that. And a cardo, a cardo, you know those online supermarket a cardo? Well, they got their inspiration from the word avocado and made their little logo image shape as a that. A quote from Albert Einstein, if an idea is not at first absurd, then there is no hope for it. Uh, what you need to do, generally, if you want to get together some ideas, is keep asking yourself, what if? And have fun doing it. But in reality, you really need to have a playful mind. Because if your mind is not playful, then you can't really come up with ideas and expand on them. It's not really going to work. If we don't take risks, that's where medi mediocrity lies. And by not taking risks, we will risk everything. Um, so, what if you want to develop your ideas, what you really need to do is start asking yourself yes and rather than no but. Because if you keep saying no but, you're not really going to get anywhere. But if you keep saying yes and, then you're going to keep developing your ideas and keep pushing on to make something a bit more greater and um, there's something else I want to address as well um, there is something else uh, <laughs> there was something else, I just totally forgot about it um, Fail more, fail good, and you shall succeed, the CEO of IBM. You could take your main product and then find something out that's totally different. Try and milk some inspiration out of those two, and then in the end you could get a totally different product at the end. Probably better than you previously had before. So. It's just the idea of just trying to find the most simplest things out there and developing into something a little more, a bit more better. That's what I'm trying to get out there. <laughs> so, um, also we did this um, teamwork thing where we tried to come up with a toy store. Yeah, I wasn't really getting anything from it. I wasn't getting any ideas or anything. You know, these, these pair of goggles. Now I looked at it and the first thing I came up with was, was reptiles, that was it. 
I had no idea to do with that. But then again, you need a playful mind to come up with something. And I wasn't really feeling that playful, to be honest. <laughs> but but, but I, 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 I do understand what needs to be done. And I took a lot out from that workshop. So I'm going to apply to that to my um, uh, everyday tasks and see where that takes me. But yes, um, well, I wanted to point that out there, just give you a few things what I've learned during that workshop. I don't know how this vlog went, but, but it's definitely better than the one I just previously recorded. I, I've deleted it, I didn't sound that enthusiastic about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave it at that before I ramble on make some rubbish. I uh, hope you enjoy. hope the um, advice, what I got from the workshop, helps you in some form of way. And I hope to see you in my very next vlog. I'll talk to you all later. Bye bye!